hello everyone in this video we will be doing the same example the same network but the input is changed in the previous example the input was a square uh, sinusoidal wave but here it is in a square wave so what we need to calculate is the calculate the output waveform for the given network so we need to find the voltage across this resistor for this input which is a square input now the square input is a very um, easy to uh, calculate like we can easily calculate the output voltage across the resistor and it is not that much difficult when compared to a sinusoidal the analysis is very simple we need to replace the voltage source by a 20 volt source uh, in the first half period 0 to t by 2 and minus 10 volt by the in the second half period so the analysis is very easier now this is what i have said from the input we can observe that from 0 to 2 by 2 there is a constant input of 20 volt change the color and from t by 2 2 to t the second half cycle there is a constant input voltage of 10 volt this is minus 10 volt okay we can verify from this So now let's start the analysis for the 0 to t by 2. From 0 to t by 2, we can replace the voltage source by 20 volt source. So we have replaced and so it can be replaced by a 20 volt source. Now uh, we need to determine the state of this diode, whether the diode is on or off. Now how can we do that? So what we need to do is here both 20 volt, 5 volt voltage sources are trying to establish the current in the direction of the diode arrow. Hence, the diode is forward biased and it can be replaced by a short circuit. Now, now if we can observe the 20 volt source and the 5 volt source, both these sources are creating the current or which is in the direction of the arrow of the diode. This will create a current which is in the direction of the arrow of the diode and also this voltage source creates a current which is matching with the direction of the arrow of the diode. Hence, the diode will be forward biased and it can be replaced by a short circuit. That means we can now if we can replace it by short circuit by a zero volt drop like this. So, which we have done now, we have replaced it by a short circuit, which is a zero volt drop. Right now, then we need to apply the KVL. We need to now apply the KVL in this network. Just 20 volt minus 20 volt plus 5 volt along this along the clockwise direction 20 plus 5 minus 0 look 20 plus 5 minus 0 minus v naught is equal to 0 so the output voltage is 25 volt okay this is um, calculated for the 0 to t by 2 now we need to calculate the output voltage for t by 2 to t analysis for the negative half cycle which is t over 2 to t right now this is the network now if you recall from my second example i have said that how can we replace the voltage by their equivalent voltage sources now if you don't remember you can check out that video it will be in the description now since it's minus 10 volt we can replace minus 10 volt by this sort of voltage source like if it is plus plus 10 the positive plate will be upside and the negative plate will be down and if it since it is minus 10 it is just the exact opposite case now you can check my pre uh, the previous video in which i have um, explained it detail so you can go and check now after replacing like this we need to determine the state of this diode so how this is um, like in which state it is whether it is in the off state or on state whether it is forward bias or reverse bias so we can see from the uh, figure we can see from the it should be figure we can see from the figure that 10 volt source is trying to reverse bias the diode and 5 volt source is trying to forward bias but the magnitude of 10 volt source is dominant and hence the diode is off now i have reference here 10 volt because i have replaced it 
like this so that's why i will refer it 10 not minus 10 now if you have any confusion you go check my the previous video which will be in the link and you can find in the i button also okay now what this uh, is saying like 10 volt source is more dominant than the 5 volt source here 10 volt source is more dominant than 5 volt source that means now this is a 10 volt source because of this 10 volt source the current will be established in this direction right in the, in the anti clockwise direction and because of this current is trying to establish in this direction so what uh, which or among these two is um, more 10 volt so the net effect or the net current will be in this direction let me use another color so the net so the net current will be in this direction so which is not matching with the arrow of the diode hence the diode should be replaced by an open circuit now which we have done here we have replaced it by open source now after this when it is replaced by open source that means there is no current through the network so i is equal to zero since no current in the network voltage across the resistor which is the current into the resistance here it is current into the resistance here the current is zero into the resistance whatever it can be as it is a load resistor it can be anything so i just took r r ohm which is equal to zero volt so we have determined the output voltage for the second or negative half cycle so and hence we can plot the output waveform for the positive half cycle for 0 to t by 2 it is 25 volt and from t by 2 to t it's 0 volt now as i said this is very simple this was easier than the sinusoidal waveform which we have done in the previous video so finally we can say that output waveform can easily be determined when the input is a square waveform since the input is a very is square waveform we are able to determine the output very easily we need not to um, think about uh, all the cases here just start here there are just two cases when the input is 20 and then when the input is minus 10 volt that's it